Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Subscribe down below and hit that like button. And today I'm going to be bringing to you some what I eat in a day um, over the past two days. Some chair workouts, some foot updates, and random stuff. And I really hope you enjoy. Morning breakfast is super simple. I have an English muffin with a light layer of peanut butter and jam. to start off today with some good workouts so I did a cardio one as well as I finished off with a 10 minute butt workout which is so hard like my side butt is on fire but that's kind of what I want to do today it's Monday um, now I'm gonna ice my foot although I didn't use it it's been really sore lately um, I don't think I've done an update in a bit so I'll show you it now. so this is what the inside looks like there's just bruising here um, and it's not as bad as the outside but that's kind of the bruising that's there so this is the outside it's basically like right here but it does move around a bit i'm starting to get a little bit of pain up in here um so it always looks like this it's looked like this since i think august or september um the bruising does not go away so i don't really know if you call it bruising because bruising usually goes away within like a few days to a few weeks so I'm not really sure what's going on with it I've contacted my doctor and she doesn't seem worried about it so I don't know but anyways um, I am getting going through cycle being frustrated with my foot again and getting a little bit anxious about the um, upcoming like next few months we will be fine for the next few months but then coming into spring I can't work my second job which I love if my foot's not fixed so that's a little bit frustrating um, and uh, as of right now surgery would probably be two years away plus then it's like a year recovery so it's like three years of my life that I'm basically couch bound um, so I am contacting a private surgeon but I don't even want to know what that's gonna cost but I do want to know I'm gonna get a quote but I don't know if it would be an option for us or not but I thought I would just get a quote anyway and see so I'll keep you updated on what number they give me because I'm sure people are curious I was really curious so we'll see I'm gonna assume it's probably around ten thousand dollars but um, I'm hoping around five if it was like five or six I might consider it but we'll see what number they give me so for lunch, I have this sweet kale salad from Costco, and then it comes with cranberries and pumpkin seeds, so I put that on there. Then I'm going to be putting on this rotisserie chicken that I had left over, and I'm going to be using this avocado goddess dressing. So tonight we're having KFC bowls. I have chicken bites in the air fryer, um, my can of corn here, and then I'm boiling some potatoes. And then you also need to put on some cheese. I don't need to, but it's the best. And then my father-in-law actually brought us KFC last night, so we do have some gravy. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on it. Make sure you, you tell them your husband helped you make this dinner. <laughs> what? What do we find funny? <laughs> you want me to put that in there? Good morning, so I'm making my second coffee I'm grabbing from my flavored coffee sampler from Amazon. I'll link it down below, but oh, I don't think I'm in that kind of mood this morning. That one's a question mark. I want something like sweet. The two at the front here are cinnamon, but I feel like, ooh, peanut butter cup. We'll try that one. So I think I mentioned in my last video that my Keurig broke. 
this little, um, what's, whatever this is that pierces the bottom, it came off the bottom one so I was like oh damn like I can't use it anymore but then I discovered that I could just poke my own hole in the bottom and it's a little bit sketchy because it is hard <gasps> oh I just bent my whole nail back ow <laughs> okay so that was a fail um I'm going to try again. Hopefully not hurt myself again. There we go. So poke my own hole in the bottom. And then put it in. And then it's been working. Okay, so I've been really into English muffins lately. So I have um, one sausage patty, half a slice of cheese, and a little bit of mayo on the bottom here. My peanut butter coffee, and then I'm watching Sadie XO um, doing her baby haul, and I just don't feel like turning on the lights this morning. So that's where we're at today. So I'm still early, but I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna have lunch. I'm just gonna have some of these leftover potatoes. And I think I'm going to save some for Derek later for dinner, so I'm not going to have a lot. And then, take one more scoop actually. Then I'm just going to assemble everything the same as I did last night. So I'm going to be adding in some corn, some chicken. I like corn, so I'm putting in a lot of corn. These um, chicken bites from Costco are so good. I'm just going to tear them up. And then once, that was a little hard. And I'm just gonna microwave it. And yes, I'm eating lunch still in my robe. It's cold in here today. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese. And then a little bit of this gravy. This lunch is, or this dinner is so good. We have it probably like once a month because it's not horrible for you if you like eat it portioned, but it's not the best either. Tastes good, tastes like southern food. So I just made another batch of three ingredient cookies because I was gonna post how I make them on my TikTok because someone requested it and they're bomb. And then I made a cup of coffee. I had to make instant because my Keurig is being really temperamental. Um, today or this afternoon, I am going to get a new mattress. So I'm gonna show you, but Derek's building us a king bed out of a, um, the, the back part of our barn that we took down. Um, and it's looking really nice. So we needed a mattress, but we didn't really wanna spend a ton of money on it right now. So we ended up buying one on an online auction and it's like 20 minutes from our house where you pick it up. So we're gonna go get it. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because um, it, Says there's some dirt on it, which is fine. It's not used, it's new, but the bag got ripped or whatever. That's why it was so cheap. We got it for $87, by the way. Um, and we were like bidding, and we were like sitting there, and we were like, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. Like it was really fun. But anyways, so I'm like really curious to see what happens and how it looks, if it's gross, whatever. Like it was fun, <laughs> I don't know. But we'll just use it for now, and we can get a mattress cover. The one thing I am concerned about is if it's comfy or not. So we'll see, but. Anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm doing is making the cookies. I'm gonna go do a workout when these cookies are done and um, Then I don't know what else we'll get up to this afternoon, but I'll show you my workout in a bit really good workout um and I might do another one. Oh, my doors are always open right here I might do another one later on today but Ruger has been really antsy to go outside so I'm gonna take him but I'm just gonna put this $10 barbecue bacon wrapped pork roast into the slow cooker it's one o'clock so then it'll be ready and we want to eat it later 
there it is it looks good i tried to pull this thing out but then i was just reading that apparently it pops up when it's ready so that's pretty cool um and also as i was putting this in here i thought i should have just put this in my air fryer later but we have to go get that mattress so it'd be nice to have dinner ready i'm just gonna put that on low and let it go there's mine for you today I wanted to update you on my fitness tracker I showed in a few videos ago. So I really enjoyed doing this. It really held me more accountable. Plus I could see um, everything out here and it was super easy. I did add a dessert section because I have dessert almost every night. Although I don't think I show dessert because by the time I eat dessert, like I, my camera's away. But I do eat dessert every night. So I added a dessert section. Um, and then a few nights here, I did have some alcohol, so I just added them just so I know. Um, and then I kept it real. Like, I kept it real. I On this day, I, I know I didn't eat that healthy. I still wrote it down. Um, and I loved doing this. I was so happy to look back at all my workouts that I accomplished. And that was basically the main thing for me. I love writing down what workouts I did. But writing down my food, too, has really helped. So... That is something that I'm going to keep up with. This is this week's and I'm halfway done today. And I'm going to continue this because I really like it. It's really helped me a lot.